Hi guys, it's Jan. Welcome back. So today I am doing my fashion video. Believe me when I say I tried to upload it last night on Friday. It was just not happening. It got very, very late and I just went to bed. So I'm actually redoing it over because it turns out that that file must have been, you know, I don't know, something wrong with it. So I have to do it over, but it's not a big deal. And um, I am happy to share with you today some three outfits that I put together. And I think that they're all uh, really fun outfits. They incorporate some new items. So instead of doing, um, well, I probably will have to because I'm not showing you everything I bought. But I did do a little shopping lately. I bought a lot more shirts than I did um, anything else. So a few of them are going to be utilized in some of these outfits. But anyway, let me just jump right in and show you outfit number one. Now, outfit number one. Um, I think it's going to be really great for the holidays because it incorporates a tunic. And if you're like everyone who eats during the holidays and you feel like, you know, all that, you know, watching your diet and all that stuff just like really obviously failed during Thanksgiving and Christmas, then it's a really great idea to have a tunic because, first of all, I got this because I love tunics and I love tunics over leggings and I think it's just a very classic look, but I think that tunics can be really, really helpful in making you feel very comfortable in case you've overeaten a little bit because what do you all do during the holidays, you know, you should really enjoy your holidays. So anyway, I got this tunic at Marshall's. It's a Cynthia Rowley brand. It was on clearance. I only got it for like $10. And I got it because, number one, the color is just gorgeous. I don't have a cobalt blue, and it was very popular on the runways um, for autumn winter. So I picked it up because it was on clearance. It's a long tunic. I can pair it with the way I did with skinny jeans here or leggings and a pair of black flats. And I think it's just absolutely gorgeous. So it's a Cynthia Rowley tunic, and it comes quite long. And I paired it with um, another new item, which are H&M skinny jeans, which I've worn both of these already. And I just think it's just a beautiful combination, very classic you know, bright blue and black. I paired it to make it look really, really effortless with a bunch of different um, necklaces, just kind of different textures. Here I have uh, some pretty pearls. This one is a blingy cross. And underneath here, I have um, the Lisa Tabas rose gold chain. And I just took my lock off of my speedy bag and I just put it on the chain. It's just kind of quirky, kind of fun. But I think it's just overall a real chic outfit. You can tuck it in if you want if you're wearing it with jeans. But um, yeah, I mean that just depends on you. I like tunics though. Sometimes they could be a little too frumpy. You do have to watch that they're not too long, that there's a little bit of a slight taper to them, that it's obviously a current kind of look. And um, I think this is just a real pretty version of a button-down shirt but tunic form. So um, that's the outfit. Now the shoes I paired with it <clears throat> are new. I got them from Century 21. These are John Vito Rossi. Never had a pair of these shoes. Um, they're uh, um, Italian made calf hair and they have a darker calf hair along the band here. And I just think that they're so pretty. So um, just to give you an idea of how this outfit can look, I love the leopard with the blue. I just think it's great uh, combination. I love the blue. It's such a beautiful jewel tone and I think the punch of texture with the shoe is just really fun. So that is the shoe I'm pairing with it. You can put some gold hoops with this. I love layering lots of jewelry with like big gold hoops like this. I think it'll be fun. And then the bag, I've chosen my uh, vintage bag from Spain. Again, I love the texture. I love the contrast of the brown and the blue. And with the shoe, I think it really just looks very, very stylish. So that's outfit number one. Okay, outfit number two is probably my favorite. Okay, another new item is this shirt. I picked this up at Love Culture uh, just really like maybe two weeks ago. So it should still be in the stores. Um, it's a black and white stripe, kind of peasant boho kind of feel blouse. And I paired it with my red leather Citizens of Humanity jeans and also um, silver and white jewelry. This kind of looks like a mother of pearl but it's not really, it's just an inexpensive necklace. And the other one is just um, a circle necklace, just a silver inexpensive necklace. But I thought that was a really pretty combination. I love the pop of color with the red. I particularly love it with a graphic, you know, print like this. I think the juxtaposition between both the texture and the color of the red and the color and the print of the blouse is just really wonderful. So the shoes I've paired with it, are these just because 
because I think I'm going to wear this for Thanksgiving and I kind of wanted to be a little bit more dressed up so I wanted to add a classier um, more dressed up element and these are T-strap sandals by Manola Blahnik but you don't have to do these you can do another type of shoe let's take the shoes from the next outfit which are these ankle boots and I think that would look really good too so I love the whole look and now the bag I'm going to show you is my Alexander Wang Rocco Duffel. And I just really uh, chose this because I think the hardware is just perfect with the necklaces. So that is outfit number two. Okay, so let's switch these so I'm not so far away when talking to you guys. Okay, let's move these here. This is my third outfit. This one I love too. Um, let me show you the blazer and the... sweatshirt combination. So I've had this blazer. I got this from Gap. It's a navy um, and white striped blazer. It's a really good quality. And then underneath it, it's a graphic sweatshirt that I picked up at Century 21. So it's obviously a take and a play on the Chanel number no. 5 kind of look. And it's a sweatshirt. And it's thin enough that you can wear a blazer over it. And then I just paired it with a bunch of pearls. And I thought this looked really, really fun. You can wear this with anything from leggings to jeans. But what I'm pairing it with are my cargo jeans that I love. And I wore these to death years ago when they first came out. And I took them out and I thought this would be a fun look. So the cargo jeans are J. Brand Houlihan's. And I think to me, it just is a really fun look. I like this a lot. And these are, um, I don't know if it's coming up, but these are olive green. So, yeah, that is outfit number three. Yeah, let's put this together. And the shoes, which I already showed, are the ankle boots. And this is how I would wear outfit number three. I think that is a real pretty look. And then the bag with it is... Because I thought doing a chain strap bag, like either of my Chanel's, would look really pretentious with this. So what I decided to do, this would be a little less pretentious, and use my Balenciaga bag. So that is outfit number three. Pants look incredibly short like this. Still look short, but I think you know what, what I mean here. So that is my three assembled outfits for the week. I did um, pre-plan and um, film a couple of other videos I'd like to look at quickly and then hopefully get them uploaded today but you know uploading issues sometimes is the problem with anyone who does YouTube videos. Um, but anyway so that is it so I hope you enjoyed this video guys. I will see you guys hopefully very very soon and everyone enjoy your weekend. Bye guys.